Alright my friends, here's another bicep tear, but now surgery, now recovery update. Look, as you can see, no more slings, fuck that. I've actually, um, <laughs> um, on the paper for the rehab, bicep rehab, it said that I should be wearing the sling from two to six weeks at any time uh, beside the shower and beside uh, when I do a uh, bicep rehab and exercise. And I've actually done my own rehab this time around. Uh, if I have trouble like uh, fully setting my arm in the next two weeks still, I'm gonna probably do a, I'm gonna go to the, re the rehab rehab for bicep with somebody who does rehabilitation, uh, sports rehabilitation or whatever will help me. But it's been doing great so far. The thing with the right bicep that kind of sucked is I had a bit of infection. I don't know if you can see the scar here. Uh, it's pretty thick because they did the cut here, cut here, and this there was a big lump. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, it kind of slowed down the, the recovery process. But here, it was easy to fully extend because the tendon snapped near the bone. So the tendon was still long, so it was easy to put through the bone. It was easy to get the full range of motion. Here, the bicep... Uh, snap instead of a snap of the bone here it snapped here so it was harder to like put through so that's why I still have like a like trouble like um extending it but now my full extent like, this is the most I can like extend. it's almost there I feel like I'm locking my tricep actually not fully but when the hammer position I can fully extend but when I turn now it starts pulling like inside here, you know, and at first when I was like trying to extend here, like maybe like last week, it's like you could see like the bicep was like, yeah, getting fully stretched here, but um, this is my original motion now, it's not bad, and my hands, like that is easy, I get a full, good supination, pronation, it's a little bit of trouble, but like that, pretty good, like that pretty good but I feel like also the the bone here like I feel like cuck, I want to crack it but I'm not gonna do it yet and like that it gets harder see that <sighs> but it's getting there and biceps are a little bit smaller of course and funny thing look at that the skin is like yeah like this is room room to grow let's just say that Look at that. That could be my thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, so it's going well, I think. No infection, nothing. And the size, I mean, coming back slowly. Alright, and I didn't do any bicep training yet. I just started doing isometrics. So, uh, at this point, the surgery is like, fuck, is it? month already five weeks I'll have to check double check that but I think it's been five weeks and uh, I can do at six weeks I can do isometrics so but I started doing it already so I would use a hold like a little five pound dumbbell and just hold it at a preacher like that and do rotations like this but the most important right now is to get full full extension which um I think I'm getting so yeah but what I do right now, I actually did a little bit of isometrics with the band, the yellow iron ball band. And I hold it like that, like pick it back up, and then do a little bit of tension to pretty much reawake, to awaken, reawaken my bicep. It's because uh, even if I would flex, I couldn't even flex, but now it's like, because here, here, pretty solid. Here, I feel like, see that? Even if I'm flexing, I feel like it's going inside a little bit. Here when I'm flexing, it's... It's hard. This a bit soft. So it's not fully awakened, but uh, it's getting there. So right now I'm at the point where I'm trying to get the full range of motion. I'm doing isometrics, so and I'm actually started doing like bench press with like 30 pounds aside, like a 35 and a 5 is the most I've done. And um, I'll be able to try a pure muscle fitness pretty soon, and I'll be able to do all the machines and stuff, which will be pretty good for for chest because. Tricep, I do push downs, but I had a hard time doing push downs because I couldn't get a full extension because 
the, the range of motion of the bicep, right? But I've done a few side ladder rolls, uh, front ladder rolls, I've done like 15 pounds press. I, the most I've done with my left foot presses was like maybe 30 pounds for, uh, like on a floor press. So I'm just uh, doing minimal. I'm not in a, too much in a rush. Like this one, I was like, oh my God. And I kind of like, I, like, I was eating so much, like going up to 330 pounds. But now I'm like, Two, I was 277, maybe 280 pounds, so I'm like, this is my natural weight, right? So, um, I feel normal, but, you know, at some point, it's like, there's more in life than just, like, the way you look, you understand? So, and I know once, like, I start the off-season again, and I start prep, you know, again, I think I'll do a show, I don't know, I've stuck with Doran and Big Mike, I guess, but I think I'm going to maybe do a show at the end of 2022, if I want to give myself time to do a real big off season, because even though this happened, I still want to be better than the, the Olympia and better than the Cali Pro when I won, because that's bodybuilding, and I know I can do it. Because when I heard this, I've actually arrived way better than in 2018, <laughs> right? Because uh, I was like, fuck, I qualified for the Olympia, and only in 2018 I was fourth at the Toronto Pro Show, so you know. It's the setback before the next comeback, my third comeback, which is, you know, and there's more to it than meets the eye. Uh, you'll see in one of my next videos coming soon, next week. But yeah, so anyway, this video is about pretty much, I wanted to give you an update, but also a few quick tips to help avoid the bicep tear. All right. One, don't be dehydrated. Stay hydrated. I think the common factor between the two, uh, there's two common factors between the two tears that I had that I think that both were the same. Um, and both of them, I think I was dehydrated. I was sweating. Uh, I was not well hydrated. I was pretty lean when I tore this one. With this one, I wasn't, but I was like kind of like run down from the moving and stuff and, and the other, st other things included. And I was for sure dehydrated. So dehydration, big one. Uh, and the main thing, because both were not done while curling in the gym or doing any exercise in the gym. Both were done moving something heavy with my hands like that. Like the one on the ground, this one was like I'm, I'm lifted some plates and I try to jerk it like that. That movement snapped. Like this here snapped. So then I was trying to do a curl like that and a fly at the same time. So I was trying to push something like this and this creates the most tension on the bicep and it's just snap. This one, the hugging, bearing motion, and I was like that, pulling towards myself like this, and like that at the same time, and I was, I kind of jerked it, and then snap. So both were the same movement. Vulnerable, the most vulnerable position, the most vulnerable position of the bicep is fully extended, trying to do that, right? So if you're moving shit around, or you're doing all this stuff, and you see your arms away from the body, like a fly, dumbbell fly, trying to hold something like a rock, you know, like Larry Wills was lifting a big rock, that's not good for your bicep, because if you're not used to it, right, we do like stuff, curl with a certain range of motion in a machine or with a barbell, but we never do the fucking this movement, like the strongman, so don't do it, <laughs> avoid that, avoid the hydration, avoid this movement, I don't know how you want to call it, and uh, avoid the vulnerable position of the bicep. You know, I call it like that. I avoid the most vulnerable part of the bicep, which is like this. And um, thirdly, thirdly, I mean, in third, uh, how do you say that, actually? Coming in third for the quick tip of the bicep. Uh, <laughs> I think I have to edit that out. Third tip I can give for... Um, avoiding a bicep tear is to be mindful of what the hell you're doing, which is kind of like number two also. But be mindful. If you see yourself going in, in this position, or you see yourself being dehydrated, you need a little bit of mindfulness to like know what's up. Because if you're just going around and you're doing stuff like you know, and you're not mindful, you will forget about all that, you know? Because I know that I was not supposed to do I've, I've tore one bicep, right? So... I should have been mindful, which I wasn't mindful, 
of the vulnerable position that I was. So mindfulness is the third one. And the fourth one I could do is that don't don't try any stunts like in the gym, like you know how Callum Van Moger, Van Moger, my buddy there, he, he tore his bicep doing a stunt for Instagram. Don't do any crazy shit for Instagram as you get older because that will lead me to number five, fifth tip. You're getting older. <laughs> Be aware of that. Um, the surgeon said that I had diseased tendons in the bicep, which means that they were both bound to fucking freaking tear at some point. Uh, but if I avoided like one, two, three, four, I would have probably not like tore anything, right? But uh, yeah, if you're getting older, be aware of that. Especially if you've been training for years and years on end, you know, curling and stuff like. So this goes for everything. So now, like, I got to be mindful for my knees, my back, everything, right? So um, the reason why Dexter Jackson and uh, Sean Roden uh, have great careers, or and Dexter's retired, right? Well, they had great careers uh, all the way to the end even at the, um, in the older range of uh, for a pro bodybuilder, is because they trained smart the whole time. They knew they were, you know, age wasn't on their side, so they, they adjusted. Like if you see like uh, like my friend Fouad, uh, yeah, he tore a lot of muscles, but I think at some point we have to back down. I don't, I don't know if that would have helped him or not. Maybe it's just bad luck, right? Because Fouad is an animal. He always train like one and always will. But um, I think my mistake I need to avoid now is to like stop trying to train like when I was 20. So it's great that Big Mike uh, has been training me now because I never, I can never pretty much knock on wood. No, wood, 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 wood. Is that wood? Yeah. Knock on wood, I won't get injured if I train smart, if I'm conscious and mindful of everything, right? So these are five quick tips for avoiding a bicep tear. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will do a more elabor elaborated one um, soon in my next update. But for now, I think that's good. You can take that, take the note of that. And if you have other tips on how to avoid a tear, you can comment below and share because it's by knowing the mistake of others that you can prevent your own, you know? And it's by sharing knowledge that we can actually learn on how to avoid these horrible events. I mean, it's not the end of the world, for real. Like, there's worse things than death in the world, for sure. And it's not really stressing me out, even as far as competing goes. Um, it's just a little annoying. Like, I slow down on social media and things like that and other things, like, uh, happen. But um, in the end, what matters is, like, you know, doing what you love. Family, friends, and, uh, you know, just not, not giving up and... Try to always see the silver lining and things. Like, see, because I tore my arm, this video is, is online now. <laughs> and I'm talking to you on how to not do this. So my, my mistake, my suffering can now be something positive for you. But like I said, like physical pain, physical challenge like that, like minor like that. It's Yes, it is minor. Uh, are not very uh, stressful, you know. They're annoying. Trust me, they're annoying. They are annoying. Trust me, and like, but this could all be always be worse. I got my legs right now, I got my eyes right now, I got my mouth, my tongue. So, you know, it's it's okay. So, if you get injured, a tip I can give you maybe this will be my next video. The tip I can give you once you get injured to stay with a positive mind. I mean, the main one is gratitude. Gratitude. Look at what you can still do, not at what you can't. I'm going to end on that. It sounds great. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video to uh, friends who like, are on the verge of tearing something. And uh, press the like button. All right? Um, and stay tuned for a video that's coming uh, July 1st. You can't miss that one. Trust me. All right, thank you.